There's a war against nature. The stranglehold that Big Pharma has, it's an evil industry. It is not about health. It is about creating lifelong customers. We no longer deal with mental health. We just give kids a pill. We have now created an addict. We're not healthy by design. All of the processed foods, that's not natural, and that's not good for us. We're consuming what they put in their product to prolong the life of their investment. It's all about addiction. We have to break that habit. Let's do the stuff that's difficult that we used to do when we were much healthier. One of the major battles that we're up against is Why is everybody so sick? Well, everyone's so sick because there's a war against nature. And we have somehow been wired to think that we are going to create something that's better for us than what grows from the ground. All the medicine and food that we'll ever need grows from the ground. I am a lover of Western medicine. I've had a knee replacement. I'm grateful that we've had those incredibly genius technologies and, and, and surgeons and doctors that are able to pull a parse of a knee out of a cadaver, put them in my knee and I can walk again. This is incredible. So I'm not against Western medicine. There's a time and a place for it. But with the stranglehold that Big Pharma has and zero liability, it's an evil industry. It is not about health. It is about creating lifelong customers. And when people just get that, that it is about creating lifelong customers. We, we no longer deal with mental health. We just give the kids a pill and that pill leads to the necessity for another pill a stronger pill yeah. to a stronger pill and when the kid can't get that and when the doctors realize that I, we have now created an addict the kid goes to the street I have a nephew whose life was destroyed just like that I've dealt with addicts for a number of years and so we're, we're not healthy by design and the other reason that we're not healthy is in this to the people who aren't awake to the, the fact that there is a truly an agenda to weaken and destabilize our nation. That shouldn't even be that controversial because if we just look at what we've been doing just within the course of your youthful lifetime, we've been destabilizing other nations all over the world. When a nation is too powerful and its people are too powerful, there are many ways to destabilize them. You go in th with the military, you affect their water, you affect their mentality, their minds, you affect their education systems, you attack their children with, with harmful ideologies, and you pump medicine into their systems that keep them dependent upon pharmaceuticals. A lot of it has to do with greed. All of the processed, packaged foods that we weren't m meant to consume food that way. There's a reason that when you take the food out of a garden, it doesn't last long. There's no preservatives in it. It's not meant to last long. It's meant to be eaten when you take it out of the ground. And so for these manufacturers to not lose money, they pump their food with all these things that give it a shelf life of 10, 100 years. That's not natural and that's not good for us. And so when those chemicals that preserve that food doesn't mildew in three days and it can stay on the shelf for seven months, we're consuming what they put in their product to prolong the life of their investment, we're consuming into our bodies. So that's one of many reasons that we're sick. So what do we do about it? Well, it's, it's all about addiction. Mm -hmm. So we're addicts. We're addicted above all to comfort and convenience. And so we have to break that habit. It's a tough one to break because if you talk to anyone these days, one of the major battles that we're up against is time. No one has time. I sometimes will deal with families that are having a struggle. When I get down to the root of it, and I, and I find out, well, this is actually a decent father, but he's disconnected from his children. Why? I just don't have time to be with my children anymore, he'll say. I work 12 hours a day. I come home. I'm exhausted. I get home at 9 p.m. You know, I just want to eat and go to bed. And then I work, and I have Sunday off, and I want to do nothing but watch basketball because I'm exhausted. And so it's, our system is set up in this kind of slave structure that prohibits us from having the time. So then now we become addicted to what's fast and convenient. And comfort is also another addiction, right? So it's, it's more comfortable just to call up the phone and have something delivered to us that's more convenient. You know, to come out of that, it really means it's gonna take more work. And so how do we rearrange our lives such that we're better managing our time and not wasting time, but now these little devices we have in our hands usually consume whatever excess time we might have. Where do we place our values such that we will tend to those highest values first before we allow our distractions to absorb the rest of our free time? And when we have that free time, and then we make it a priority to say, let's plant a garden. Let's teach our children. Let's come together. Let's eat this salad out of our garden. Let's, eat, let, let's, let's make our own food. Let's do the stuff that's difficult that we used to do when we were much healthier. Our bones, our teeth, everything, our eyes, everything. We're, 
The, the amount of allergies that we have right now has a lot to do with, of course, the injections that a lot of us receive throughout the years from the day we were born on to the toxins in the air, the soil, the water, and to all the choices we make every time we stop to eat. And a lot of times, even when we eat at a restaurant, even though it's a hot meal, we don't know the quality of the food these people are buying. I will guarantee you that 99% of the time, they're buying the cheapest food because it's yeah, about yeah. profit. It's just like walking into the nearest grocery store and buying the, the cheapest processed food.